Hello there, simply put, let's go get farming. Welcome to ETG, Easy Farming with ETG. This is where we are trying to get you started into your farming business and take it as a business because Zambia and the entire world does realize that there's potential in agriculture. In fact, in Zambia, they are saying now, let's shift the focus from copper dependency to agriculture because agriculture is never depleted. So make sure that uh, indeed you get yourself into the farming business by simply getting in touch with the experts who can help you get started. ETG are those experts. Now, remember, winning is here. Two programs we've run so far, three winners. Siankoni Zulu confirms all the time when he picks up those winners that are busy inboxing in that number, 0977-477-536. And also, 253025 will be opening the phone line anytime too soon. But remember, we are here easy farming with ETG to give you export information when it comes to the kind of farming you would want to get to and also where to get the correct farming inputs. ETG are the experts. Speaking of which today I'm featuring on the program Richard Chisenga as well as Luau Siwale. Both of them are agronomists from ETG. Remember anything that we say today starting now could be an answer that could get you winning. Even as we start, let's take you to outside of Lusaka, slightly out of Lusaka, Chibombo, like uh, 10 miles away from here, where we caught up with um, a vegetable farmer. That man is Mr. Joseph Nurenda, and he calls his farm Kadoko Farms. That's where we went with uh, ETG to find out how he has benefited fully from what they've been able to offer him in terms of expert information as well as inputs. In its quest to provide quality agro services to various farmers, especially those involved in vegetable farming, ETG has one of its customers, Mr. Joseph Nurenda, and here we are at, its, at his farm to just find out how he's doing. Mr. Nurenda, thank you so much for hosting us here. And we can see already the vegetables you have around, in particular, the cabbages are doing remarkably good. Tell us the secret. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh, secret is being passionate about the product you do, knowing the product that you are doing, and uh, applying the correct fertilizer at the correct time. Mm. That's the biggest. Tell us the partnership that you've gotten into with ETG. ETG has been with us from 2014. Uh, they have seen us grow from this little uh, uh, project to what we are today. They have helped us in terms of uh, uh, fertilizer inputs. They have also helped us in terms of chemical inputs. And even the agronomy part of uh, um, the farming, they have also assisted us. Mm. Not too far away from the capital city, uh, town center that you are, mm. six miles from town to the to the turn off, mm. and then from the turn off to here, I don't know how many kilometers. 4.5 kilometers. Indeed. Um, how much land do you have? Just in case the Lusaka people question, there's no land for farming in Lusaka. There's plenty of land for farming in Lusaka. What you need is not how much land, it's how to use that land you have. Uh, our land currently, we are sitting at 4.5 hectares. Uh, but we're not using it all. I mean, the residence part is taking about 2.5, and the, the, the farming part is about 2 hectares. But in that 2 hectares, we still don't use it all. We just use a bit of um, the land. What sort of technical support, if any, that you've gotten from ETG? ETG, the biggest technical support they have given us is agronomy uh, part, where we call them if we have a problem with our, our cabbages. Um, and we do also grow some bit of green maize. So we'll call them, look, we have this pest, how can we get rid of it, how do we spray it? Um, because it's not every pest that is dangerous for your, for your field. Some pests are okay, they, they are pests because they are known to be pests. Mm. So you would have to be very careful what you spray in. So ETG has given us uh, uh, support on what not to spray or how not to spray. Great. Can somebody live with his or her family out of vegetable farming yes, like you can. Are. Yes, they can. Indeed, they can. Um, for, for cost purposes, if you want to make a profit out of cabbage, you make sure that your cost per cabbage is one quarter fifteen way. If your cost per cabbage is one quarter fifteen way, you are going to make a profit. How many employees do you have around? Four and a half. The four are full time, the half is myself because I'm always half here, half out to, to do other things. 
your message to ETG just in case there's somewhere where you feel they should make improvements? ETG, I think the, the improvements are for them to go more out, uh, support farmers more and more. Um, I think they have now been, uh, the tag that we thought ETG was for commercial farmers is gone. We see them more often supporting small-scale farmers like myself. But I think they can do much more by being uh, closer to the farmer. You know, uh, uh, let them be in the rural places, you know, not just on the, li in, in the, on the line of rail or somewhere where there is uh, tarmac. They should also be found in places like in Chama, you know, fair of places where they can easily, people can access fertilizer and... Um, Joseph Nyranda there, um, a vegetable farmer, all vegetable farmer, and he makes a living out of uh, uh, farming. It's, it's a pity we didn't show you his mansion. He lives at uh, quite a very good mansion out of agricultural uh, farming, vegetable, purely. Um, Luau Siwale is an agronomist. Thank you so much for coming. And be on a lookout, like you keep saying, though the information you got from there could get you winning. So 253025, you can begin uh, giving us those calls so that we see if at all you're going to walk away as a winner. What message have you got for the farmer Today. Okay, um, today, someone we're going to look at uh, vegetable farming. Great. Yeah, uh, farming as a business in vegetables. So, I'll talk about uh, the benefits a farmer will get ap after using our uh, products, yeah, blended product products. So, there are a lot of benefits, quite all right. Let's uh, speak about the products first that, that you have, which they can get maximum benefit from. Okay, um, we're going to categorize vegetables in three types. Yeah, I'll talk about the fruiting vegetables. An example is tomato, uh, uh, pepper, chili. Uh, we can talk about uh, impua, eggplant, and so on. Then the third category is the leafy vegetables. We're going to talk about uh, cabbage, uh, rape, tomolia, and so on. Okay. Then the last part is the um, tubers and bulbs, those crops which are formed under, under the soil. Okay. Yeah, and specifically, we, we have formulated a special fertilizer which will give a maximum yield to a farmer upon using and they can maximize their profit and improve their yields. Apart from that, we can talk, look at um, the soil Great. benefits. Great, hang in there. Yeah. Richard Chisenga is, uh, uh, is the man that we're gonna talk to a little later and uh, we'll be able to, to speak to, um, to him a little later. So Luau, first of all, gives us a breakdown of what is going to be happening if you are to get into vegetable farming pure, isn't it? Yeah. So the tubers have got a specific fertilizer. Yes. Then the leafy vegetables. Okay, cool. Then the fruiting vegetables. The brand names for the fertilizers. Okay. Um, the brand names would the for the fruiting vegetables. We have got a combination of uh, same basil and top dressing. Mm -hmm. So the same way we 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 apply for for maize. Like we do for 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 basil, we do blended D compound, mm -hmm. and the top dressing we do the kind of plus urea yeah so even the even the vegetables they've got that same kind of sequence okay. of application of fertilizer so for the fruiting vegetables we've got the special blend called the veg mix i hope you are listening you people out there <laughs> okay let's so go we've got the veg mix a okay which is the basil uh -huh. properly formulated That's for vegetables yes vegetables under the fruiting vegetables category okay. uh -huh. so we've got the veg mix a this has got uh, nitrogen potassium and phosphorus of course, as compared to others, the, the potassium is high because fruits require a lot of potassium for them to, to, to have a pollen germination and uh, fruiting and flowering at, okay. at the end of the day. Then for the top dressing, we've got what we call the veg top 24. This is a top dressing. So for application rates... Um, veg top 24. Yeah, veg top 24. That's okay. got 24% potassium and 16% nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. Then for, for the basil, for, for the leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. So it's a balanced uh, kind of fertilizer. It's 12, 12, 12. That's nitrogen 12, potassium 12, and uh, um, uh, which is uh, um, phosphorus 12. Okay. So all and these can be sulfur. gotten from various agro dealers under uh, ETG across yes, the country. Agro dealers and also our outlets around the country. Yeah. All these products are there for the farmers to access. So for the top dressing, apart from the veg mix B for the leaf vegetables, we can use the same veg top 24 it's it's um it covers for all the vegetables the top dressing then difference comes in for the basal dressing because a plant nutrition uh, nutrition needs uh, you have to get it right at the start of the foundation of the basic development of a plant all right yeah so for the 
for the tubers and bulbs, I've got another combination, different from the leafy vegetables, um, the fruiting vegetables. For, for the, this underground crops, we have what we call a special product called uh, the veg mix C. Veg mix C. So yeah. that's for the candolozi? Candolozi. Okay. Uh, uh, sweet potatoes, um, uh, the Irish potatoes, okay. uh, onions, garlic. Yeah, there's less nitrogen because all these, they, they, they need less nitrogen. Because if you add more nitrogen to a, 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 an underground crop or a tuba or bulb, you, you promote more of a leafy formation than the actual uh, product which you want. At the bottom. Yeah. So 53025, if we can pick up a caller, if we've got any, 0977-477-536. That line will get you texting, and who knows, you could be picked as a winner. We shuffle those mes messages just in case we do not get to have as many calls as we can. 0211, the code for Lusaka, and then 0211253025. Uh, uh, you will be with us. Um, so all those, if, if somebody wanted to start, do you give some kind of information to a farmer that wants to get into vegetable farming? Okay. Um, what we do, we've got uh, written programs for all the crops. Mm. Yeah, for uh, all the crops. If I want to do watermelons, if I want to do um, garlic, I've got all the information written. Okay. But for those who want to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, kind of interaction, we give out phone numbers. We do extension service. We, we uh, like you, you saw from Mr. Nyerenda, we, we bring up, we, we grow farmers mm -hmm. from, from, as from, nowhere. from nowhere to up there. Yeah. yeah. So wha that's what we do. We, have, we offer free extension service to all the farms. If somebody yeah. is just interested, since you're explaining so well, and mm -hmm. they thought, I just want Luau to, to connect me to, to farming, yeah. you wouldn't mind giving them your number? I wouldn't mind. Please go ahead. Okay. 0977, 0978-6563-68. That's my number. Slow down again. 0978-6563-68. That's the Airtel number. All right. That one will get you direct to Luau, and you will get you talking in terms of how you can start agro farming. And uh, much more information about ETG. After all, we are starting easy farming for the 2020-2021 farming season with ETG. Now, on the flip side, we'll be talking to Richard Chisenga. Much more about other things. And um, this is not the last time you're seeing Luau. You should be back in future programs on Easy Farming with ETG. But remember, you can text him and also text our earlier number. You will be able to, um, to give us. We are going to, to, to go to the customers who have been able to appreciate. These ones have tried out ETG um, products, and they have been able to testify to say, wow, it has been very, very, very good. And so everything that you get to want to embark on, ETG will give you a hand. So we'll show you a clip of uh, some of uh, the customers that we were able to, to catch up with at um, Zambian Fertilizers, or ETG as you prefer, from the Mount Facility Economic Zones. Um, as, as we even wait for that, what, what are some of the nitty gritties that somebody has to know before getting into uh, vegetable farming? Uh, what you what you need to know is uh, actually dealing with the soil, because the soil, that's the media where, where we grow the crops. So we have to take care of it, so that we have to take care of the organic matter, the microbial activities, the water capacity, and also the retention of uh, nutrients. So you have to take care of those if you want to produce a high yield. And using these blended products, mm -hmm. they'll give you a maximum yield, because all the benefits are there in the actual fertilizers. All right. Yeah. As I'm waiting f still for my calls. Your number again? 0977-0978-656368. 0978-656368. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So, Easy Farming with ETG continues. And uh, on the flip side, we'll be talking to Richard Tisenga as we gather much more information. But here is what we got from those that have already tried and tested ETG products. Uh, how long have you been a customer? I should say uh, almost 10 years now. Wow. Yes. Um, what, what has impressed you most about Zambian fertilizer? Well, from the Zambian fertilizer, it seems to be very natural. And when I add on my vegetables or fruits, they come so nice, so beautiful. What type of farming are you into? 
vegetables, especially the lettuce, uh, spinach, cabbages. It's, it's impressive to see a lady at your age and very interested in farming. <laughs> why, 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 why are you interested in farming? What's so special about it? Maybe other women out there would like to also want to get in there. Maybe they are uh, thinking twice about getting in there. Is there anything really in farming? Yes, there is something in farming because you can do more than the people in the offices. You get a lot from the ground. And in the offices, I saw that what I was getting per month is not what I'm getting from my vegetables. It's even twice or three times more. So would you tell anybody out there who is thinking of what type of fertilizers to get? they get from Zambian fertilizer, they won't be disappointed. I'm sure when they get from Zambian fertilizer, they won't be disappointed. Because those are specifically for the, well, for the vegetables. They seem to be natural. They come out very nice. Sir, tell us your name and type of farming that you do. Uh, I'm Matthew Mwanda uh, of Panavana, where I'm growing tomatoes, uh, cabbages, maize. And uh, mostly I'm using the uh, ETG fertilizer, whereby at least it's a good product whereby it matches with our soil in Zambia. And there's a profit from the time I started um, dealing with the ETG. I think everything is best now on my side. Even tomatoes, the qualities, they are okay. Tell us about the interactions that you have with ETG. How, how is the relationship? Relationship is good to me, otherwise I have no problem. Otherwise they, can, they, uh, they, say, they save us, uh, they are too friendly to us. Two friends, yes. In case somebody out there is wondering the type of fertilizer that they sh should use in the coming farming season? Uh, otherwise, uh, the coming season, the fertilizer should be used. Otherwise, this, uh, I think no, no problem. That one. Yes, no problem. I'm wondering, otherwise, uh, everything's okay. Fertilizer. And they're uh, in bulk now. Yes, even the trucks, you can even see at, at my back, the trucks are coming, bring the fertilizer. I think we, have no, we don't have to worry about that. Yes, if there's any problem, please just contact the uh, ETG, then uh, you'll be a billionaire. There you are. Much appreciation there from the farmers that have tested these products. Now, I want you to answer this question and send the, the, the answers to the number that's at the bottom of the screen or the number that Luau had given us. So, what's the type of uh, fertilizer that's used for vegetables and tubers? Name the fertilizer under ETG that is used for vegetables and leaf vegetables and tuber vegetables. So, send sent the, the, the responses to that number at the bottom. Next week, we'll be able to announce a winner. Here's Richard Chisengo as well, an, another agronomist. He's going to talk about the fertilizer specifically for maize. Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, you know, in Zambia particularly, we, we grow a lot of maize. Mm -hmm. And many farmers are not realizing the, the yields to the highest potential because they don't know they, or they are using the wrong fertilizers. Now, as ETG, we have come up with uh, what we call blended uh, fertilizers, particularly for for maize. Okay. We have about five of them. There is what we call blended D. That one is uh, 10, 20, 10, but it has some organic matter in it. Okay. And then there is also what we call five types of fertilizers for maize. For maize. Okay. Yes. Let's name one. One blended D. This one, this blended D has got organic matter. The other blended D with lime. Okay. You got me? Nice. Then we also have what we call uh, maize mix. This one is a little bit lower, and it may, we use it mostly for those lands which have been overused. Okay. It is combined uh, with uh, lime and uh, organic matter. Beautiful. Yes. Then we also have what we call ara compound. This ara compound, we use it m normally in, uh, in the southern region of, of Zambia. Ah. Yeah. We also have what we call X compound. X compound, we use it uh, especially in the western area uh, regions of Zambia where there's a lot of sand. Telamed. So these yes. fertilizers are telamed for a particular region. Yes, I like that because our fertilizers are, are crop specific. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in short, I can say. They are crop specific and they are, they, they are so specific actually. So that's the way we have made our, our fertilizers. They, they are blended mm -hmm. with the, we use uh, what we call molasses when we are blending them. As a, as a mixing uh, agent. Wonderful. And maybe you may ask, why molasses? <laughs> you know, molasses helps in the activation of uh, uh, macro 
uh, organisms and bacteria in the soils. So it he really helps the, 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 the plant at the, at the end of the day. Beautiful. Mm. So um, are they able to get those fertilizers, farmers as it is now, because I know it's planting season now? Ye yes, wherever you can go where we are, you can get these fertilizers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just in case somebody wants to talk to you also, they're just interested in you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'll give you two numbers, the Airtel and the MTN. The MTN is 0969 The Airtel is 0977 nine seven zero seven nine zero for example in malume okay airtel zero nine seven seven nine seven zero seven nine zero and those that uh, want to communicate to me on mtn can get to me on zero nine six nine eight three four zero seven great so this is an expert when it comes to maize and the fertilizers that uh, are used on maize depending on the region where you are doing your farming from um, what expert knowledge should somebody venturing into maize farming for this season have? Um, first and foremost, most of the farmers have been making uh, mistakes on when to apply the fertilizers. And that's where they miss it all. Most of them, they want to apply, especially the basal dressing, when the maize has already uh, emerged from the soil. But I would encourage the, the farmers to apply the basal dressing even before they plant or during, when, uh, the, during the time when they are planting the maize. To plant together, the to maize plants together with the fertilizer? Yes, you, okay. you apply the, your basal dressing, you cover a bit and then you, you, you put your, your maize. All right. Yes. And then the top dressing? The top dressing should be applied three weeks later. We have what we call uh, Kinoplast. It's the best fertilizer so far that I've come up uh, across in terms of top dressing fertilizers. You can apply three weeks later after you have applied the, the, the top dressing. That's, you wait for, for, for the maize to germinate yes. first and then three weeks later you apply. That's it. So once the, the maize begins to grow after that, then you are, you are just you, there. You are done. Okay. You are done. The, the, this fertilizer has got an advantage over the ordinary urea because the other ordinary urea has got a lot of uh, volatility. Mm. It loses its uh, nitrogen very fast. No wonder other farmers have been making a spirit application for urea. But with the Kinoplast, it's just once and then you forget. Great. You can only get that information here on Easy Farming with ETG. And we are coming to you live on your public service broadcaster Sundays at 6.10.30. We seem to be running out of time already. But um, speaking of which, where are you so that they can know in case they are looking for you specifically? Okay. Yeah. Which you office are you at? Chinika Industrial Area in, uh, here in Lusaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can find at the head office, you can find me there. Great. Lastly, name the, dif the five different types of fertilizers that ETG has for maize. Again, name five different types of fertilizers that ETG does have for you as a farmer. Send those answers to 0977477536 or alternatively to his line and Luau, they'll be able to attend to you. We are going to fish out who is going to walk away with the starter pack for the 2020-2021 farming season. I'm your farmer's person, Samuel Matishi. Let's go farming Zambia. See you Sunday. Okay. Thank you.